found the caliputter eating our tomatoes. It's pretty big. It has a sharp thing on its butt, so I'm just wearing gloves just in case. And I'm gonna go feed it to my chickens. Oh, very wildness. Where is it? Here. It's huge. So go ahead. Holding tight, huh? Yep. Yeah. Oh. It's holding really, really tight, but it got tiny. Look at these legs. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. It looks like it has jaws. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Get off. Oh my god. I want to kill it. Oh my god. Get it. Looks like that. Yeah, grab it, grab it. And then just like. I don't want it to stay me. It's not of the gloves, right? Oh, there. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay. Look at it, yeah, it's trying to stink. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at how it's trying to move it. And it's trying to look, look, put it, its teeth into the glove. You see the teeth? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty fascinating. You want to try to feed it to the girls? Yes, let's hope it doesn't sting their mouth. Jeez, yeah. I got it. And there we go, the change begins. <laughs> no, no. There she goes, Princess. <laughs> No this, no, this one took the whole thing. Whatever is left of it looks like half of it. Looks like a juicy... Um... Oh, looks like a juicy aloe. case if we left a tomato hornworm alone it would have completely destroyed our plants instead i got to enjoy fresh tomatoes all summer long and our chickens had a fresh and juicy protein treat if you don't know coyote peterson you should definitely check out his channel brave wilderness i've been his fan for many many years and i have learned lots of cool facts about animals i actually found out that the horn which gave the tomato hornworm its name, is not a stinger. Tomato hornworms can't sting and the fierce looking caterpillars are harmless to humans. Well, I did not know that at the time, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. Coyote gets bitten by some of the craziest insects on the planet, so I leave that to him while I stick to BMX. Shout out to Pup Peterson 
And as Cody says, be brave, stay wild, I'll see you at the finish line.